So first, I just have to say that as a youth, I loved That's So Raven. Um, Thank you. So it is so inspiring to see you not only still um, headlining your own show on my screen, but also having power behind the scenes. And I wanted to know how, you know, your lifetime of experience has shaped Raven's home. I mean, my life experience has definitely morphed myself and the show for many iterations. I mean, and working with Disney uh, Channel, they've really made a cushion to where I can express my needs and I can express my learning curve of being a director and being an executive producer in a safe space. Um, I've, I've learned a lot over the years and to be able to uh, communicate it uh, differently each day is so super important for me because I learned as an actress and now I'm trying to regurgitate it as an EP and a director and finding that bridge has been a journey but because I do it in such a loving environment I'm enjoying this process fully and uh, hopefully I can continue to grow behind the scenes and help others. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, I know Disney Channel has had a uh, immense success with their crossovers in past years. So what do you both think makes 2020 the right time for Raven to go to Camp Kikiwaka? Oh, I think that it's the right time because it's a reflection of everybody right now is in a different world than they've ever been in. And uh, Raven's home cast ends up in this world that they have never been in with these people they've <laughs> never met before, but they find beauty in the process. And I think that this is a great time for that because uh, that's what we're all having to do. We're all in a new world and in a, a process we did not expect to be in the GPS to tour our lives. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that's that true. You guys. So um, I think it's very fitting. <laughs> and we all um, need no. to laugh right now. That's true. That's true. I'm looking forward to laughing along with both of you. <laughs> Um, now, what was it like blending the two casts together? Did you guys have like fond experiences of getting to know each other on set or, you know, just fun between the kids behind the scenes? Miranda, myself and Annalisa were growing a friendship prior to the crossover. So we had our own secret convos and uh, watching the kids that some knew each other beforehand and some didn't watching their friendships grow was awesome as well. It was it was actually easier than I was uh, stressing myself over. You know, before it happened, I'm like, okay, it's gonna be about 18 kids. We're gonna have to really just rank, you know, they're not gonna, but when they got on set, they jumped right into that beautiful professional, um, but still fun demeanor that really makes me proud to be someone I work, with, really makes me proud to be their colleague. And um, I think us putting our faith in the director and our faith in the writers and EPs and stepping back and watching these kids really shine for me brought me so much joy during this episode. I felt like a proud little mama bird and they flew on their own. It was beautiful. <laughs> um, now, I feel like both of you on your separate shows are kind of at crossroads, you know, for the next season, there's going to be new, new experiences, but what do you guys know what fans can expect for your new season separately? I know that for season five of Bunked, which we are anxiously awaiting to go back and shoot, um, <laughs> the heart of Bunked is always going to be there. And uh, that's the one thing that I'm happy has carried through five seasons now or going into five seasons now is um, there's this heart. There's, there's, those fun times, there's always crazy antics, but there's always that heart and there is the realness of it that is relatable. And um, I think people can expect that. They can expect some maybe new faces. Um, some of the old are gonna be there. And, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna have fun. We're gonna keep doing what we do at Camp Kikiwaka, which is just uh, living the best summer life we could possibly live. I mean, we have, we have no rules. <laughs> <Losing> <laughs> Oh, and for Raven's Home, we already we started filming fourth season before Corona started. So again, face new faces as well. Cool storylines. The kids are growing up, and uh, yeah, just just adventure, 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 fun, fun, fun. And you can always expect something crazy or a booty shake from Raven Baxter. So who knows what <laughs> after Corona? <laughs> right. Um, my final question, speaking of uh, after Corona, you know, what are your post quarantine plans either on the Disney Channel or beyond it? Well, I, uh, I need to go on vacation after this. I don't know about y'all, 
<laughs> but I need a vacation after Corona. Okay. Uh, one, two. Take um, yeah, come on, girl. I plan on stepping behind the scenes a lot more. I plan on creating a lot more. Um, I plan on, uh, I got married. So my goals have definitely mm -hmm. shifted mm -hmm. in a way that I had never, thanks, in a way that I had never thought I had to think about because my career has always been number one in my life. So I kind of have to morph this mentality. So I, I have some different plans than I did before I went into Corona. And while some people won't like them, I'll be happy. And sometimes that's all that matters. <laughs> I think my post-corona plans are definitely to be able to see my friends again and hug them uh, if it's safe. Um, but to get back to work because, I mean, I really, I really do miss it. You know, when you enjoy the people that you're around, half of them really, I mean, most of them, I would say, uh, are some of my best friends and I love them. And so uh, being apart from each other um, at a time we didn't expect, you know, you right. usually in your seasons, you have time to mentally prepare, you know, in the last, you know, the finale is going to be and all of that. There was no planning for this. So um, I miss them. I miss that mm -hmm. part of my life a lot. Um, and same, same as uh, Ray, I really want to travel. <laughs> I want to go to get on a plane and do something. Okay. <laughs> somewhere I haven't been. That's where I want yeah. to be. <laughs> I think we'll all have to go somewhere we haven't been. Well, thank well, you. Well, so we're much. allowed. Yeah, we're, we're allowed. allowed. <laughs> thank you guys. I can't wait to see the crossover. Thank, thank you. you.